Hey guys, welcome to Bharti Yoga. I'm Bharti. So this video is just for us ladies. Cramps during periods can be quite taxing and painful and annoying. While popping a painkiller seems like the easiest option, doing that every month is quite unhealthy. So today I'll walk you through some easy yoga stretches that will help relieve cramps and also help you relax during your periods. So put on something comfortable and let's begin. Sit on your heels with your knees folded into Vajrasana. Then part your knees and start walking your hands forward to come into child's pose. Rest your forehead on the ground. Make enough space between your knees so that your lower abdomen is not getting pressed. You can place some pillows below your forehead if that feels comfortable. Just take a few deep relaxing breaths into the stretch you feel in your lower back. Slowly come up. Then come onto all fours into a tabletop position. As you take a deep breath in, curve your lower spine and let your belly drop. Do not exert too much pressure on your abdomen. You can look forward. As you exhale, push your hands into the ground, curl your back and look at your navel. Again, inhale, curve up. Feel the stretch in your lower back. Exhale, curl down to release. Again, inhale up, exhale, curl down. Last one, inhale up, exhale down. And come back. Now extend both your legs forward. Take support of your hands to straighten your back and ground your sitting bones. Keep your toes pointing up so that the entire back of your legs are touching the ground. Now bend your left knee and bring the left foot on the inside of the right thigh. As you inhale, straighten your back and as you exhale, bend forward. You can hold your right foot with your hands or keep your hands on your shins or on the mat. Keep your right foot flexed. Now you can place a few pillows on your right leg and rest your torso on the pillows. Stack them as high as you need but you should still feel this nice gentle stretch in your right hamstrings and your lower back. Stay here for a few breaths. And release. Then repeat for the other side. Switch your legs. Flex the left foot. Inhale and extend your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Again, place the pillows and relax. Today is going to be all about feeling relaxed and getting gentle stretches to release those contracted muscles. Slowly come back up. Next, spread both your legs out in front of you as wide as possible without too much discomfort. Place your hands behind your hips to straighten your back and get your sitting bones grounded. 
Then place both your hands in front of you and start folding forward from the hips. Stay as high or as low as comfortable. Then you can get back all your pillows to stack them in front of you and rest your forehead on the pillows. Keep both your feet flexed so that your toes are pointing up. Keep taking deep long breaths here. Slowly come up. Now fold your knees and bring both feet together in front of you. Grab hold of them with your hands and pull the feet in slightly so that you feel a gentle stretch in your inner thighs. Then as you inhale, straighten your back and as you exhale, fold forward. I'll show you how this looks from the side. Keep your neck and shoulders relaxed. Then from here, taking support of your hands and elbows, recline all the way back into Supta Baddha Kun Asana. Let your knees fall out with gravity and keep breathing deeply. If you feel the stretch in your inner thighs is too much, place your pillows below your knees for support. Then just lie down and relax in this position. Finally, straighten both your legs and remove the pillows if you have them. Then bend your right knee and twist to bring the right foot on the outside of the left leg. Try to keep your right shoulder on the ground and look towards the right side. Feel the gentle twist in your spine. Stay here for a few breaths. Then release and do it for the left side. Keep taking deep relaxing breaths as you feel the release in your lower back. Gently release and lie down in Shavasana. Feel free to lie here till you are ready to get up. I hope this practice helped you today. Stay hydrated and have a happy period. Well, as happy as you can at least. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.